Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> so it's early. It is uh, 7.08 in the morning and I'm filming this now because I just watched the last episode of season three for This Is Us and I thank the good Lord that we have a season four coming because there are a lot of questions. But um, I do want to talk about the last episode. So if you haven't watched it, don't continue with this video until you watch it. Um, first of all, baby Jack is adorable. And I'm so glad that in the future we got to know that baby Jack is good. Um, but it looks like in the future that we are worried about Kate and Toby and they may or may not be together. It looks like they're not together in the future. Um, so that's kind of sad. Um, but I, I could tell that Toby was kind of like not very comfortable with taking care of baby Jack. That That's a concern to Kate and you know, that's just, that's kind of life concerns happen. There's a train right now and my dog is barking. If you hear that, sorry. Um, I'm trying to talk quiet too because my baby is still sleeping in the next room, two rooms down. But anyways, so, um, so that's with Kate and Toby. And then you got Kevin and Zoe and I, I was rooting for them a little, but I knew, I, I pretty well knew that Kevin, you know, wanted kids. He wanted to be a dad and Zoe clearly, you know, she made that clear that she did not want to be a mom. And so I kind of saw the breakup happening, but they did break up in the last five minutes of the episode. And I feel like a lot of people are upset about that on how the breakup happened. Like it was just within like the whole musical ending part of the show and not a whole lot was said. You just saw her packing up her things and walking out the door. And um, so I feel like some, I think they're called Zevin. Is that is that right? Zevin fans are upset. So, um, so that's kind of sad that they broke up, but I kind of saw it coming. And, uh, but in the future you see that Kevin has a kid. So that's really interesting. Like I want to know, well, is he married? Who's the mom? Did he adopt? Like. What, what happened um, so that's that's neat that he has a kid um, and then the whole thing with Rebecca's car wreck in the 70s in the past uh, I do wonder if she had some kind of brain issue um, when that car wreck happened there was nothing said about that in the episode but then in the future you see her laying in a hospital bed or not in a hospital bed she's at Kevin's house in a bed and um, Randall walks in and says that he is her son, reminding her. So I feel like she's got some dementia or something. Um, and then of course you see Nikki, which is Jack's brother, in the room with Rebecca. You know, just kind of sitting by her bedside. And I'm wondering if maybe he's there because he resembles jack a little bit and maybe she maybe she finds that as a comfort but then i'm like where's miguel like what did miguel pass away what happened there um so that's kind of one of my questions um so but it's kind of sad to see rebecca that way but um thankfully we do get another season next season so we get to see more of like what happens um with kate and rebecca I thought it was really cool how they came together and she was like, I, you know, I want my son to have you in his life because you're, you're an amazing mom and I want him to have you as part of his life. And that was just a sweet moment. Um, she didn't say those exact words. I can't remember what she said, but it was really sweet. So let's see, I've talked about Kate and Toby. I've talked about Kevin and Zoe. <laughs> I've talked about Rebecca, Miguel, Kate, and Rebecca, Beth, and Randall. You guys. I was a little nervous. I was like, uh oh. Trouble in paradise. Like, are they going to get a divorce? But 
they did not they've stayed together and i'm so 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 happy because they're just i love beth like her character is really cool um but it's really neat to see my dog is scratching on the door but um it's really neat to see them in the future and um, see that they're still together and then you see um, Tess old you know the, the older version of Tess in the future and Randall's like it's time to go see her and we all thought that that was Beth or that's what I thought I can't speak for all of us but I thought that was Beth but I'm pretty sure they were meaning Rebecca because later on it, you know the show in the future Tess and Randall going to see Rebecca so that was an answer to a question that I had last season but um, at the end of last season so um, another thing was seeing Zoe interact with her nieces was so neat and I, I could see you know that spark in Kevin's eye he was like she looks so good like she would be an amazing mom but she just doesn't want that and Kevin was so good with Tess like talking to Tess and stuff and so that was that was cool um but let's talk about Deja and her um moment with Randall where she was like I'm on the debate team and really there was no debate team she was just telling him about her old foster home and basically giving him a speech kind of like Randall does to her in a episode earlier on in season three and that was just such a cool moment like Deja is a smart girl like she's been through a lot and she's learned from that and you can see that she has overcome a lot of things and just <clears throat> she sees the value in life and in relationships more than <clears throat> oh my gosh more than just the average person you know because she's been through so much and um i just thought that was just a really cool like eye-opening moment for randall because he was like wow she just told me like it is and she's totally right so that was that was neat one thing about season three, I do wish we would have saw more of Jack in season three, but I have a feeling we might see a little bit more of him in season four. I don't know that for sure, but that would be nice. Um, and then I want to know more about, about Miguel and, and that story. And I feel like we're going to get a backstory about, about Rebecca a little bit more in season four. Um, cause I was watching the after show actually before i watched the last episode probably shouldn't have done that but i did um so they they mentioned that maybe that would happen uh a little bit of more a little bit of a backstory with rebecca would happen in season four so all in all i thought it was a great season um the they always you know tie the knots and you know make sure we have a pretty well um, amount of answers at the end of a season they they're really good about you know tying the story together and I love how they do the past and the future I think that's so cool but if you miss an episode you have got to watch that episode because sometimes you can miss a huge part um, but that that's what makes me tune in every week I'm like I have to watch it you know um, this is one show that like, I, I watch Arrow and The Flash and Supergirl, but I wait till those go on Netflix. But This Is Us, well, for one, it's not on Netflix. But I really just want to watch it the night that it comes out. The night that the episode airs. So, anyways, it's an amazing show, and I'm so excited for season four. I can't wait to see what happens um, with all of the characters. So, anyways, that's kind of my little review I guess I hope that made sense I'm gonna try to edit this and we'll just see what happens but anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and be sure to turn on post notifications hit the little bell uh, when you subscribe so you'll know every time I upload and I'll see you guys next time peace out